What's good YouTube? It's your boy the Feather Brandy here, aka Brian Alpha. Now this is your first time to my channel. Hi, what's up? My name is Joshua Bailey. Now today I'll be reacting to another song from Encanto. This is We Don't Talk About Bruno, but this is the audio because YouTube would copyright my video if I show the actual video to the song um, for the movie. So this is not only the audio. Um, if you want to if you want me to react to the video, then leave it in the comments down below if you guys want to get back to the video. But for right now, decide to play it safe and react to the song. Now this song is trending number one for this week on YouTube, which is nuts. So I like might as well react to it. I mean I've seen other people react to it. Um, the video of course. I mean the song of course. So you know what? Might as well it's my turn now to react to it since I'm kind of like reacting to the channel in a way. So yeah. But, but before we get started into it, if you have not subscribed to the channel already, please do so or it will take one second out your day to subscribe to my channel. Also give the video a big thumbs up and the notification bell ring in. So every time I post another video. <laughs> You know why at first, follow my social media's link in the description box below. I will have the full link to this video in the description box below as well as my reaction playlist. And make sure you check out my gaming channel, twitch.tv forward slash grind alpha, which I will be going live Saturdays. Now without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. But it was my wedding day. It was my wedding day. We were getting ready, and there wasn't a cloud in the sky. No, there's a cloud in the sky. Bruno walks in with a mischievous grin. Thunder. You're telling this story, or am I? I'm sorry, maybe that go wrong. Bruno said. Okay, pause. That was. <laughs> Wow, I I the beginning of this over here. Um, shout out to Lady Manuel because I know that he wrote well every song that's in here. So shout out to you. Um, and you guys don't know who he is. I mean, he's an Oscar winning, Academy Award winning songwriter, and he also acted in Broadway. He also acted in Hamilton. So and he got like a Academy Award for that. So. Not only is he a great songwriter, but he's a great, well, artist in general. And, well, that's me here and there. I like the beginning part of this song, kind of like a upbeat, like, Hispanic. I don't, I don't know, I know this movie takes place in Colombia. So, it got like a Colombia vibe to it. And, you know, one of my favorite characters in here is Felix. Felix is the husband of the girl that just sung in the beginning. So I like his part with that airy, um, it's kind of like an airy type of vibe, um, tone to his voice when he said that. And why do guys always interrupt females when they <laughs> tell the story? Like, we always try to butt it, try to add our two steps into it. I don't know, I think it's a thing, I don't know, like a relationship thing, I guess. I mean, I do that sometimes. I butt in um, because I don't you know, forget. <laughs> like if I don't fit in and say what I have to say before you say what you have to say, I'm gonna, I'm automatically gonna forget. So I like that part. <laughs> We're like, all right, are you telling this story or should I leave <laughs> and let you tell the story? Am I telling it or are you telling it? Anyway, I like, I like that part. Let's back it up and. That go wrong. Bruno says it looks like rain. Why does he keep telling? In doing so, he floods my brain. I'm more like a sea umbrella. In a hurricane. What a joyous day, but anyway, we don't talk about Bruno. No, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. Hey, you don't live in fear. Bruno stuttering or stumbling. I can always hear him sort of muttering. Came through the bars, came through. You know, like about bars, you know, 
we got Dallas Tech this bar down a little bit. Um, so yeah, this, like I said before in my last video, which you have seen already, it'll be live today. By the time you're watching this, this will be tomorrow. So yeah, um, this like my, like I said, this is like my, what I said before, like this is like my top five or like top three songs. This is one of them. Uh, not only because like the rapping part, obviously, because you know I like bars and the song, but the way she came into it, the way she could e, the way she's like whispering into this. Like we don't talk about Bruno. If you don't know who Bruno is, let me inform you. If you haven't seen the movie, Bruno is the main character's uncle. So we don't talk about him because of, and you'll figure out what he. He pretty much found in the beginning. Um, what he does or say. So, yeah, we're backing up for a minute because I wanted to affect these bars. These bars real quick. <laughs> Tell from this 
um, not only he be causing problems with his family, but he also caused problems with the people around him. Like he said, like, but the lady said, you know, get it. Um, he told me that I'm afraid to die, and all of a sudden, point five seconds later, <laughs> my face passed away. And then he goes to another guy. He said that um, I will be fat, and I became fat. <laughs> and then the other guy, saying that, you know, I'll be bald, so I put the rule here, but then next thing you know, I have a toupee on my head, and I'm all, now I'm bald. So you can kind of get the gist if you have not seen the movie that a while back, you highly advise you go see the movie if you have not seen it already, either in theaters or Disney Plus plug. Um, that he comes like a portion to them. That he kind of like sees like in the future, he kind of sees like, well, you can know, like, what's his magic, or what's his, um, let's say in the movie, his gift is, is that he can pretty much see into the future. So, I kind of predict what's going to happen before it actually did. So, that's the gist of his gift. Alright! He told me I'd go a gun, and just like he said, he said that all I had with his left hand, I look at my head. So you can kind of tell, like, if you haven't seen the movie again, I'm going to address it over and over, over and over again. Um, you can tell, like, this character is uh, Maribel's sister. And she's kind of like the angelic one, kind of like, I'm pretty much perfect, nobody can tell me nothing. Like, I'm perfect in every which way, there's no flaw to me. And you can tell that her gift is flowers, if you haven't seen the video. If you haven't seen the movie already, that her gift is flowers. So she's very like angelic. That's why the, the tone and the music in the background kind of switched up because of her, like, because in her family, she's like the angel of like her family. Like, she's got like nothing wrong with her. Like, everything about me is flawless. Wake up, flawless. Right around, I'm flawless. He died, hey, he died, hey. I won't go back to no, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, um, yeah, she kind of the uh, flawless person, like, the beautiful, charming person in the whole family. And this one she's like the oldest one of uh, her two sisters. So, yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, if she's not the oldest. <laughs> Yeah, so what she tell me, Bruno told her is that basically he told me that I was gonna be like this beautiful, like nothing goes wrong with me. Um that my powers will grow and mature as I get older and I, he was kind of right in a in like a certain aspect that he was kind of right that my powers will grow as a person because I'm I like the one of uh one boy. I like I'm one of the more mature person out of the whole family. So and I'm the most beautiful person out of the whole family, so it's like very it's like that kind of dynamics. You have to break down. So yeah, let's get into it. Mariano on his way he told me that the man of my dreams would be just out of reach. He told to another. So this character, um, when I said before, this is the same character that rapped before in the beginning, and now she has like a very, she has a very really beautiful voice, by the way. Um, so Bruno also 
Well, in her first partnership, right, she didn't tell you up front of what Bruno said to her. She was basically describing how he's causing a problem not only in the family, but also those uh, around him. But now she's really telling you on uh, this part of her second verse that um, she wants to be loved. She wants to be. She wants to find somebody that loves her more. Um, she she basically want a boyfriend. <laughs> Long time short, like she really wants her. She wants like to find a man that's perfect for her. Ten out of ten. Um, check off every thing that's off her list, basically. So, it's back to the one time and go. <laughs> It's me pausing, go check out the original video, or listen to the original song, Diamonds Christian Rock for Love. Okay? Alright? So, anyway, I got this thing done, right? because you're like, oh, but you pause so much, I want to hear the whole song. Well, you want you, you want to see this video, or you don't want to see this video? <laughs> like, YouTube will block this. So that's why you gotta give respect to all the reactors. I gave so much respect to all the reactors that... Um, why are they pausing? Because, you know, I think right now, especially in 2022, YouTube is very heavy and do not care to block your video because of copyright. So that's why I keep pausing and trying to break this stuff down so you guys will understand out there in case you guys have not seen the movie, which I probably, would highly advise you guys to go see it. Anyway, but like, uh, the this last part of the song, or like how everybody gets to chime in with their own little solo part, and you hear everybody collab to um, one. Now, when you hear the headphones, you might be confused because you hear this person's story, and you hear this person's story, you also hear this person's story, and this person's story, and how they all match up together. That we should, at the end of the day, we should not talk about said person. So, I like all, like how everybody shine in at the last part so i, I like that this and that's another reason why it feels like my top three top five favorite songs in this movie so let's back it up again and Mischief and 
problems of top of problems or problems of top problems top problems of top of problems. <laughs> so and gets his own family and the loved ones and the people that surrounded him in his neighborhood. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed this again. If it's your first time here, definitely won't be your bad. So make sure you subscribe to the channel. It is zero cost to you and it's free. Um, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Uh, if you guys want me to react to another song in Encanto, I will definitely do it without a doubt. I will definitely react to you know what? Scratch that. I will be reacting to another song by them. Um, you just kind of have to stay tuned for that. So have the notification bell ringing. And um, yeah, follow my social media. So Twitch watch below. I will have the full audio to this in Twitch back below. So you guys go check out the full audio as well as my reaction playlist. Also my gaming channel, twitch.tv for slash grind alpha. And Oh yeah, help me reach my next goal of 300 subscribers by the end of the year. So we're right at the end of the year, guys. And yeah, keep grinding, keep pushing, keep moving forward. Why? Because the grind can't stop, won't stop, and it will never stop. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Be safe out there. Love you guys always. Peace.